Intro Introducing a new dog into the family can be a fun and exciting time. But it can also be a little bit scary, especially if you have other dogs at home. People often say that dogs need to be socialized. Dogs require socialization, not only with humans, but also with other dogs. Because your dog will not be able to avoid contact with other dogs entirely, socialization with other dogs is very important. Dogs, fortunately, are social creatures. This means they are motivated to maintain touch with known people or animals in order to prevent isolation. With a little support from you, two dogs can quickly become friends. In this video, we will discover some suggestions for encouraging two dogs to bond. Before we go into today's video, kindly hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that. Let's get started. 1. Properly introduce the dogs to one another. When it comes to introducing two dogs to each other, one of the most common mistakes dog owners do is putting them in the same compound and expecting them to bond on their own. It might work, but it might not. There are several different methods for introducing your dog to a new dog. 2. Keep the dogs separated at first. Many people believe that the more dogs socialize with one another, the sooner they will be able to get along. As a result, the dogs are forced to share a dog bowl, play with the same toys, and sleep in the same den. Regrettably, that isn't going to work. It's safe to assume that every dog, especially two canines who aren't comfortable with each other, requires some time. Provide each dog with its own room and space, where it will not feel threatened by the presence of the other dog. 3. Establish Dominance By nature, dogs are pack creatures. Every animal pack has a leader, an alpha animal who dominates and leads the pack's other members. Dogs will compete instinctively to become the pack's alpha. This is especially evident when a new dog is introduced to the pack. The intriguing element is that you and your family are considered members of the pack as well. 4. Supervise all interactions between the dogs. Make sure you keep a watch on the dogs when they are permitted to mingle freely. As you are aware, it takes time for dogs to become friends. It takes several months for two dogs that have just met to become familiar with each other. If these dogs are left alone, they may fight. Therefore, constant supervision is required. 5. Obedience Training Your dog may get into a fight with a stranger or an unknown dog at any time. Obedience training can help you gain more control over your dog and so lessen the likelihood of a fight. Basic obedience orders such as sit, remain, and down are required. Take stay, for example. It's a fantastic exercise in self-control. You may make your dog stay still instead of pursuing or being distracted by another dog by using this order. Obedience training takes time and effort, much like behavioral training. However, the end product appears to be promising. 6. Watch for body posture. Look for teeth bearing, gazing, stiff tails, ears forward, hair lifted on the dog's back, and other body postures or body language in dogs that signal protective or aggressive behavior. If you notice these indicators on the dogs during the interaction, stop it immediately and separate them, or you will get into difficulties. Only until they've calmed down and relaxed, then you allow them to interact again. To determine if they are calm or not, look for changes in their body posture. 7. Give each dog equal attention. Give both the existing dog and the new dog equal attention every day if you're adopting a second dog. If you pay more attention to the new dog in the house, the old dog may feel ignored, resulting in a strained connection between the two dogs. Give both dogs equal amounts of playing, walking, and training time. 8. Be patient. Dogs are just like us in many ways. Some dogs will become quick friends in a matter of hours, while others may never get along. It could be due to a personality clash. Some dogs are boisterous and energetic, while others are shy and unfriendly. You can't expect two dogs with opposing personalities to get along without giving them time to get to know one another. Be patient and allow the dogs to get to know one another. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to never miss an update.